Greetings and welcome everyone to episode three of our Simply Forestry setup here. What we're doing is we're exploring a little bit and I discovered last episode and then with a little bit more um, a little bit more research, I found that we really can't use these beehives here unless we have like modest bees or something like that. And so to make things easier, we're just gonna move. Um, as much as I don't really want to, we're gonna move. Um, this is a nice little area, but the shrublands are kind of dry and they won't work very well for what we're aiming for. So we're gonna move to, there's a couple plains nearby and I've also found that there is another village. We have dual villages here. That's pretty good. We haven't even checked out the second village yet. So we're gonna grab our bees here and our hives. And we're gonna take them and we're gonna go to another location. We're gonna grab as much of our stuff as we can carry. We may, we may have to make multiple trips, which really isn't a problem. And we can come back for this stuff. This isn't really an issue. And what we'll do here is we're going to go off in this direction and we're going to actually aim for back here. Nice flat plains area that's going to be perfect for what we need. And let's head out now. We're going to hit up that village on our way. Ooh, and we should totally grab as many of these berries as we need because this is kind of our food supply. I also added apple skin to the pack because I forgot about it. It shows the saturation levels of our food, which is good. And it's compatible with most mods and most items, which I really enjoy. So let's see here. Let's grab all these berries along the way and see what else we can get. See, they're just, they just stand out and they, re, they regrow. It's just a worthwhile endeavor. It's like having the Natura berries around, which I wish we had, but we don't have them, but it's all good. Let's see what this village has to offer us. It's really nice that we're close to multiple villages at the same time. So let's see here. What do we got here? What do we got? A lot of <laughs> tephisticates going, hmm, hmm. So let's see here. I don't see anything that would have something extra like an apiarist. It's just a big house. Hmm. It looks like this village is without a blacksmith as well. It's kind of a bummer. We're going to eat, he eat here real quick so we can start running again. We really need that charm of gluttony. I don't even know if I have it in the pack, but I could definitely use it. Okay, so it doesn't look like we have it here, and that's fine. So let's locate our area here and head in that direction. We're going to be heading over here, which is on the other side of the other um, one. I think it's this direction. So we're just going to wander across here, picking berries along the whole way. See some over there. We also got to be careful because there are piranhas in the water. Oh, dang. They can be so hard to hit, too, with all the grass around here. There we go. And there's another one. <laughs> Good thing we're paying attention here because this could get ugly quick. Let's see. We get a little close to the water. He's going to come up to us here. Woo! Two of them. Holy smokes. Two of them. We need to get across here. Okay. Got a crit on that one. More? Holy smokes. Their population is just growing like crazy here. They need to stop reproducing. Oh! Snap, I died. Well, that's gonna... That's gonna stink. Let's go grab our stuff here. That was unexpected. Oh, I don't have any armor. That's probably why. Let's go. Let's go get our stuff. And this is why we don't play hardcore. Oh, I totally missed that. Son of a gun. Let's head over to our stuff. That hurt a little bit, but it's all good. We will survive. Okay, so our stuff is all the way over there. I didn't realize it was that far away. Okay, we got lucky there. Okay, so... How much further is it? 103. 
Listen for swimming fish. None. Whew. That was luck. I also know there's some sort of bubble effect in the water. We're going to have to figure out what that is because I'm not entirely sure what that is. It'll be interesting to see. Well, we're getting close to our death point. It's over here. And we shall remove it real quick like. There we go. Grab all that XP we accumulated and let's get our items back. Very nice. They're not in the complete right order, but they're at least mostly there. Like our tools are at least in the right place. So let's see, we're heading over... Which way was it? We're heading... We're supposed to be heading over here, but where are we on the map? I do not see me. I am not seeing me on the map. Oh, I'm heading in the wrong... No wonder I'm heading in the wrong direction. <laughs> so maybe now we'll be able to go in the right direction. And head to the correct village this way. Ooh, we can't really pass up this stuff. What do we got here? We got tin from forestry. We don't need as much tin right now. We could definitely use the TE copper. There we go. That'll work. Get us that basic resources right off the bat. And I've noticed that Thomcraft put quartz in the regular world. And it's... I won't say it's there's a lot of it, but there is definitely enough of it that it makes it noticeable here. And I also noticed forestry changed the way their copper looks, which is definitely interesting. It's not the same color as the others anymore. All about uniqueness, I guess. But I still prefer the TE for ore spawning, which is why after I um, after I created the pack, I forgot to turn off um, forestry spawning of copper and tin. But any new areas that we generate won't have that, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so let's keep going here. We're going to need to eat here in a second. There we go. So let's head off this direction. It's getting darker. We may have to head back to the house. Because I may have miscalculated here. And didn't give ourselves enough time. That little baby foal looks skinny as all get out. He needs to eat. So let's head back to the house. What are the green over here? That is weird. Green? Oh, the Tephisticates are green on the map. Weird. I never noticed that before. Interesting. Let's head over to the house. We're going to take a nap. We should probably grab our bed on our way this time so that we can um, place it for our new location. I'm still wondering what that liquid is. We're going to have to make a bucket and figure out what that liquid is at some point. And we're going to start making our machines so that we can have um, the resources we want. Or, you know, double our efficiency anyway, or close there on two. Whoops. Throw that down there. We don't need that. There we go. The other night I went out while you guys were on, and there was like three witches right outside the door, and they were just laying waste to me. I was like, this is not fun anymore. Silly witches. Okay, so let's throw those in there because we'll be back for them. Let's pick up our plants here. Let's head out before we get too distracted. Because that's what always happens. Distraction is the way we play Minecraft. Okay, so we'll keep the wheat at least. That's a plus. We need to start planting some Pam's Harvest Craft stuff as well. We need to build our smeltery from Tinker's Construct. We'll be good to go. These are all things we're going to be working towards here. Now, there should be a nice, extremely flat place over here somewhere. I think it's over that way. Let's double check here. Just so I can get my bearings correct. Well, it's actually over there. So let's head that direction. That's going to hurt. Oh, we survived. So let's see. What do we got here? Should be a nice flat area. With all of our different types of trees on it. 
Oh yeah, this is a nice little area. This will work out real well. I just need to clear it up a little bit, and this will work out real well. So let's see here. Make sure we're in the right biome. And we are. This is the plains. There is a something over there. But for the most part, this is just plains right here. Oh good. So we'll be able to call this home here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out some of this grass. And take care of this stuff. And then I'll be back. Okay, so I cleared off a small area for us to be able to use here. Looks like we got eggs galore here again from tons of chickens. And I bred the chickens, actually, because um, I was holding seeds in my hand because I ended up having so much stuff from this here. So I have all these seeds now so we won't have a garden problem, which is good. And so i got a nice clear area here. I haven't really taken out that hive yet, but we will. And the sun's going to be going down soon, so we're going to need to head out. But before that, we're going to square off a little bit of a basin for our house here. And I think we'll start off with a simple 5x5 um, five five base structure here. I think we're going to make something that's going to look pretty nice. There we go. It'll be a nice little 5x5 five five that we'll use and we'll just keep expanding it. Actually, it'll only be a, like a 7x7, seven seven, I think. But that's okay. That was weird. That was like a weird double click that I didn't do. But oh well. Okay, so that's the basic idea of what we're going to be getting into here. And I'm going to go back and rest. And then we're going to continue to expand this out. So I will see you guys in a few minutes once I get that accomplished. Okay, so I'm back. Of uh, slept at night and a comeback. And a silly rat stole my sword and then killed me. So... <laughs> I don't have a sword anymore, and now I gotta remove this waypoint. So now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do since I don't seem to have a sword anymore, which is only semi humorous here. As I continue to work at this here, we're going to chop that one there. So we're going to work on our windows here. We're going to see how this is going to work out. We're going to want some windows in this nice house here. So let's see here. I think I'm going to go along these lines here. We're going to put windows in these locations here. I won't put any in the corners or anything. But I think this will work for what we need. And then we'll just draw our line across here and make it pretty easy. We'll have some nice windows inside here. We'll even put the floor in to make it look even better. And those rats are everywhere. Those little thieves, it takes me forever to catch them. But I'll get them. I'm not too worried. Get a pet wolf or something and be good to go. This is really how it will eventually work out. There we go. There we go. I might be too high on this here. We'll see in just a second. Yep, we've got to go there. Because we're only a too high. There we go. That'll work out. Put a nice little torch in here. And we'll have a basic start for our lighting sources here. Drop into the corners. And that should work out fairly well. We need to put a roof on top of this. But outside of that, it looks pretty doggone good. We're making progress. I bet you even the beehives will work good here. Let's let's check and find out. So we'll start by... Uh, put the bees over here. Let's get them started. We got some flowers right there. Which will work out. And let's drop a queen in each of these here. There we go. It says no flower. Come on. There we go. There we go. Both of them are working good now. Gonna watch out, we got another rat over there. And I do not have a sword anymore. I'm gonna have to fix that here. Got him. He is not proving to be very fun to tackle here. There we go. Put our torches down around our side here. 
just slowly working along here trying to get our house to look as best we can as best we can and I think this is gonna be a good start and I think this is where we might actually call the episode because of all that we've accomplished we'll work on getting some sand to put some glass here in the house we'll work on putting it on a roof and then by the time you guys get back this place should look pretty doggone nice with how I'm gonna set it up so I thank you guys again for watching Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.